Um, so the first workshop I attended was AOD. I was batch mates with Reedy. Um, it was a young adult uh, workshop, specifically young adult. And then after that, I submitted to Silliman and Ateneo. And my stories in Silliman were mostly magic or realist stories. And then the stories were not thematically gay. Um, and then... What? <laughs> and then, and then um, just a few months ago, in April, I was in IAS with Sir John. Um, I submitted a lesbian story and another magical story, and then this one. So, good. So, how do you resolve that, that you know, the imposter writing impulse? Since you are not you uh, limit yourself to the lesbian material. I mean, where's the writing impulse come from? How do you Because I do not identify exclusively as a lesbian. Um, for me, attraction is attraction is attraction. So, um, yeah, I get attracted to males, females, and then it's almost, um, I don't know about it. It doesn't matter to me. So queer? So queer, yes. You would, you would uh, be comfortable queer and fantasy. Anything else? No, and have you said it Ah, okay. Maybe later after the discussion. Thanks, uh, Sigrid. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to prepare or what. I'm not sure if I'm going to prepare. I just wanted uh, to, to put that context because yeah, uh, it's so far that we've been talking about the uh, issue of who gets to write about what topics. So, kanina, uh, pinag-uusapan nga, yun nga. So, pag si Sigrid ba na, na queer woman writer ay nagsulat ng heterosexual story, uh, ina-appropriate ba niya yung uh, identity ng mga heterosexuals? And, and, uh, uh, and does she even think about it? Diba? Parang, why is it that when you're writing, for instance, why is it such an issue for some of us, no? probably not all of us, no? na uh, na yung identity natin, ipoprotect natin. So, maybe that's, that's obviously that's something that's uh, negotiable, uh, but I think particularly for marginalized identities. No? We don't uh, want others to be speaking for us because we have our, our own voices. But again, it's it's something that, that is probably more of a, for some more of a personal matter, for others more of a political matter. But that's, uh, I thought that was interesting to, to learn about Sigrid, that in fact, uh, the other part of her is a speculative fiction uh, writer. Is that right? Which is not particularly concerned with her sexual or gender identity. So, uh, just just uh, a nice uh, point to, to um, I think, to raise uh, at this point in our uh, workshop. Kasi parang nakahighlight talaga naman, no? dahil, dahil yung workshop natin, I actually think you writing workshop or writer's workshop, sobrang nakahighlight yung sexual identities natin dito sa workshop nito. Which is probably something that doesn't happen in, let's say, Silliman Writers. Sinong fellows, alumni, ng Silliman Writers workshop nito? Yeah, no? so halos uh, ganyan. And eh, hindi naman talaga pinag-uusapan yung mga... Me meron bang times? I don't know if if uh, meron kayong experience na ang talagang pinag-uusapan doon sa, sa Silima, for instance, the writer's workshop, ay yung identity politics. Parang nung time namin, 1996, <laughs> 1996 na nag-Silima workshop ako, wala namang ganun mga usapan, no? So, uh, in fact, I submitted a lesbian story uh, to, to that workshop uh, in 1996 and what I'm saying about sexual uh, politics no story, ang pinag-uusapan ay craft. Yeah, no? pinag-uusapan yung craft. As if it, it's really divorced from uh, the politics of the piece. And I guess at that time, we were innocent. <laughs> Parang, uh, Craft naman talaga yung pinag-uusapan, parang gano'n, we just accepted that that was, that was it. And uh, last, just a little sharing before we go to your stories. Um, last round, uh, we had a, we have a, a graduate of the UP Mindanao uh, Creative Writing Program who submitted uh, non-fiction and it was lesbian, uh, lesbian essay no? or, or memoir. 
whatever we like to call it. And um, one of the panelists apparently refused to talk about it. Really, totally did not discuss the essay. And I don't know personally about it, I just heard the writer herself uh, tell me the story. And she felt now uh, invisible because refused to, like, to, to talk about it. Because, and then one of the, the panelists said now that no matter how beautifully you write it, if the topic is ugly, you can oh, save it. Why um, Or how was it? I can't now. I can uh, I can't I can't I can't something wrong, right? Ah, yeah. Uh, okay, so there. Oh, you, you heard it? Did you hear it? <laughs> I don't know if it's worse or better, but I kind of paraphrase, but that's how I remember the, the way I will told. write this, uh, the person who said it in the group chat. Please. I think she's even more. Okay, I think she's having more. never talking about you. <laughs> Writing it well does not make something wrong, right? At the heart of the LGBTQ writers workshop is is really that that resistance no, to that kind of narrative about our existence being wrong. Yeah. And in fact, why are we writing about it? And so just that in the assertion. So uh, I think they have a thing that can see uh secret about uh, her experience at Siliman and Gina, something I see yung kanyang works na sa Siliman ay yung speculative work that is not necessarily uh, lesbian but could be read as lesbian would you say? At least yung one of the protagonists I imagine her as being queer but it was never referred to at the Russia so may, may ganong level ng um, invisibility um, so dito sa atin sobra siyang dito naman it, it's really highlighted and rightly so no? so uh, para sa atin kasi ito yung uh, I think it's it's the, the center of our uh, existence as human beings you know uh, and so the writing of it really does play a major role uh, in our I guess in how we imagine our own lives to uh, to be. Now, work, writers' workshops, especially because this is really uh, most of the fellows are, are really um, young and they're they're doing a lot of, of their uh, writing. So, napakalaga, I think, para such a workshop to encourage uh, the, the writing. Um, and so, we hope that that kind of energy is uh, what's fostered in this particular uh, writing workshop because kailangan natin encourage um, ating mga queer folk no, para uh, to keep doing what we're doing. It's not easy. It's really not easy. So today, we want to celebrate the, the work no, of, of Reiji Dekia. Um, and we have two stories, uh, Death for Serafina and Here Come the Women. So, Kung pwede lang, may isa na mga pistols kasi Oo naman, pwede naman, sinarap ako. Pero yung may be the group, especially yung mga experts natin, can help me kasi I'm confused. Uh, kung sinasabi natin na yung mga submissions ito sa Borsha need not be a team or a team, no? Uh, so, so ano pala yung nananak? Natin, sa no, one. it brought me to the time when I started writing and the question was actually asked to me. Ano ka ba? Writer or gay writer? Mm -hmm. okay. So, what's your question? Ano ka? How do you identify yourself? Writer or gay writer? Sabi niya, writer who happens to be gay. Okay. So, parang, 
nalo na ako na kung hindi natin yan natin ng grading or LGBT grading. So, uh, what will make it LGBT ang writing? So, sinilang sasagot. Ano ka na naman? It's, uh... When I came out as a gay writer, my identity is something I could no longer disavow. Because once you come out, you cannot uncome out it. So, my, I consider that everything I've ever written has been gay. Even if they have not been about, like, you know, cock sucking or butt fucking or things like that. Because being gay means being a person, and being a person means your interests are varied and you live in a complex way and you have many kinds of interests, di ba? So it's a matter of expanding really and dignifying our existence by seeing that coming out as gay or lesbian does not get the wise us into simply uh, writing about our sexuality, our desires, but it's about actually giving us the same kind of ability to universalize that straight people have. But please respect our particularity too. Meaning that iba in great art, and that was something nice mentioned, except that wording was slightly different. The the Jesuit uh, sort of like writer that inspired her, diba? Only through the particular can you reach the universal. So, an universal, we're all, we all want to be writers. But our embodiment is that we are gay and lesbian and all of that. And we become writers through our particularity. So, if you never neglect it, we are insisting that our reader be aware of it. Diba? So, if, don't please erase that when you read our work, even if we're writing about many different things. Don't overlook the fact that we're coming from this perspective. So I hope you understand, this is about coming out. This workshop is about coming out. Diba? Some of us can't do it yet. Like, uh, in the fullest sense. But this is the beginning of that journey. And in the end, we expand what being an LGBTQ writer means to actually just, hopefully, in the end, being a writer and being just a person. But that would be the ideal, right? Except we can't get there without insisting on the dignity of our own embodiments, our particularities. Eh? So, uh, what do we look for if it's not topic? We look for your attitude, perspective. your perspective, your alliances, your sympathies, your uh, your ethics? I'm sorry. <laughs> diba? Hanapin mo yun. Kasi parang ano, kung manibawa, LGBTQ Writers Workshop, pero mga sinasabit mo dito, misogynistic. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, diba? Ito, correct ka na namin. Ito yung respective ako. Diba? Misogynistic, o kaya internalize homophobia, o kaya uh, paminta ka kasi, galit ka sa mga trans, mga ganyan mo dito. O, oh, dapat kang pagsabihan, diba? Dapat kang i-correct. Ganon. It is productive, I tell you. Imagine, we did the same thing for poetry. And so, in a poetry suite, one fellow would have two queer poems and five universal-sounding poems. Sometimes about the eco-environment, sometimes about religion, sometimes about politics. That whole complexity is embraced, therefore, to be harnessed towards expanding of what LGBTQ writing can mean and what the LGBTQ perspective might be. Diba? Hindi rin siya perspective in a way kasi we're actually also pluralizing it eh. Yeah. But we are in fact insisting that you be aware of it. You know, ano nga, an awareness of it. Yeah. And let's face it, only this safe, in this safe space can we talk about the things we've been talking about. Right? Ito nga, hindi ka manaswa dito. Ikaw na nga yung pinaka-conservative. <laughs> Ito kasi pag normal writing workshop, siya yung mag- Siya yung bastos eh. Pag-normal. Pag-normal. Yung that store of the normies. Pero yun na nga, okay. Uh, walang value-free workshop. Yeah. Yung so-called formalism is impossible. Yeah. As we cannot be operationalized. Like, even tiyempo, in my first experience with her in Siliman, I gave a poem about receiving communion, and the communicant couldn't swallow the host because it was God, and it was too much. 
So he ended up splitting it. She refused to workshop it. She said, I am no longer Catholic, but I feel offended for my Catholic friends. Yes. And we go, we go for a listen to all. Not a big enough. So now that we know that one value free workshop, okay, we insist on the value of our lives. And the value of our desires and the value of our identities, subjectivities, right? So we centralize it, but it doesn't mean we neglect craft or everything else. Politics and poetics can be the same, can coexist mutually, interimplicate each other, can enrich each other. That's how we've been doing it. You know, it's not radical notes to and on and on 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 creative writing pedagogy. We should publicize this, because this needs to be done more. Yes. Diba, why do we have hypocrisy pa na, okay, wag ka mo na magsita, the writer's dead for the moment. Why? You're alive, you're the writer, we affirm your life, at the same time, we affirm your art. Yes. They're one and the same. Diba? Well, life is greater. But, for now, they can be one and the same. But, um, thank you for asking, Nora. I hope that clarified things a bit, even if some people are not listening. Um, <laughs> 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 no, uh,